Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Happy Monday. Muffalo. Okay, bye. Hey, how you guys doing? It's John, and that's Muffalo. Hello. And uh, quick order of business here on a Monday morning. Uh, the book just came in. Available now at barnesandnoble.com. Uh, it's uh, our Muffalo Potato Coloring and Drawing and Games coloring book. It's the first one of its kind. Whoa! That's me! Yeah, that's you, buddy. So it's a nice paper, and it's just, you know, a whole bunch of uh, cool step-by-step -step instructions, some neat drawing tips. There's some puzzles you gotta work out. There's some mazes, dinosaurs, all kinds of fun things. Just tons of neat things to do. Uh, all your favorites and some space to draw on the back. It's the Muffalo Potato Coloring and Drawing and Activity in Games book. Uh, available at barnesandnoble.com. Very excited. Who is that handsome guy? I don't know, but he's got brown hair. Oh, no, that's enough out of you, Muffalo. Your hair's gray. Yeah, 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 my hair's gray. Okay, let's get a piece of paper and get this show rolling. We got a request. Um, yesterday uh, on our Facebook page from uh, Akshata and his sister from India. They would like to draw Chase from Paw Patrol and I just realized that we've never done any Paw Patrol characters. So today I'm gonna show you how to draw Chase from Paw Patrol using nothing but numbers and letters because that's the fun of drawing things with Muffalo Potato. Don't forget guys, if you like guys and girls, if you enjoy Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're doing it five days a week. And make sure to write to John at MuffaloPotato.com. Send me your artwork and your requests, or check us in on Facebook. So without further ado, Chase from Paw Patrol. Wish me luck. Good luck. Okay, so uh, the final artwork is going to be straight up and down, but we are gonna start the drawing with our page sideways, uh, horizontally, okay? So this will be the top of the artwork, and this will be the artwork the way we started, just like this, okay? And the first thing we wanna draw is a skinny S close to the top, just like this. A skinny S, just like that. Skinny S. Yep, yep, not a, not a big curve, just a skinny S curve, just like that, okay? Make sense? I think so. Okay. Once you've got that S drawn, I want you to draw a skinny C and close off that shape. So put your pen right where that top of that S is. Go around, don't bring it out too far. It's just a very skinny C coming around like this, closes off the shape. This is gonna be the brim of his uh, police hat that he wears, okay? Okay. So now that you got that, Right where this open space is, I want you to draw kind of a wide C. And it can be a little on the wide side, okay? Uh, I'd like it to touch the S here at this point, but watch me do it first, okay? It's a wide C, it comes around like this and back out like that, okay? So it's just that kind of C, kind of wide, sitting right there in the top part of the um, S. Does that make sense? Kinda. All right, so there's our C. Skinny S, thin C, very wide C. So we like to play with um, different uh, shapes, stretching out our numbers and letters and making them very tall and skinny or putting them at different angles. Uh, and that's how we do things Muffalo Potato Way. It's nice and easy. Who knows their lowercase Q's? I'll do, it's like a backwards P. That's right, buddy, it's like a backwards P. We're gonna do two lowercase Q's, okay? One Q's gonna be right here and make it a fairly good size because it's gonna wind up being uh, Chase's I. So there's one lowercase Q, just like that. And then directly beneath it, another lowercase Q, same general size, just like that. Two lowercase Qs, one on top of the other. Backwards P. It is a backwards P, lowercase Q. An interesting shape. Good to know. Nice, nice to draw. Nice to draw. Yeah. Chase is on the case. Chase is on the case. And yeah, even if you haven't seen Paw Patrol, I can't imagine that you haven't, but even if you haven't seen Paw Patrol, it's fun to draw. It's like a, he's like a little German shepherd, uh, or I think he's like a, maybe like a um, Doberman Pinscher type police dog, kind of. 
I guess. He's got his little police hat on. And anyways, it, always fun to draw, even if you don't know the show. So don't worry about it, okay? Let's turn our page upside down. We are now completely hanging upside down. And we are going to draw the number six. Fairly good sized. Oh, a, a bit taller than that, that Q is right there, okay? And it's also going to be a little bit to the left of the Q. So let's make the circle of that six right here. And let's make that shape just like that. There's your number six, okay? It's a little bit off center from where you see that. It's out here a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so there's our six. And then on the other side, we're going to do the number three. So we want to do the lower part of the three, about as tall as the six, coming around to here. And the rest of that three, I just want to curve around and end right about well, a little bit to the inside of the brim of what's going to be his police hat. So the first part of the three, same height as the six. Comes around like this, touches that Q, comes out like this and around, comes back in, touches inside the brim of the hat right there, okay? Okay. So there's our three. Six, three. And in this space right here, I just wanna draw another thin C. Kind of make it the mirror of that curved shape right here, okay? Does not need to be touching either. It's gonna be sort of away from that Q like this. Again, another very thin C coming around just like that. And once you've drawn that, do one the exact same size, thin curve coming around like this at the end of that brim going all the way up to there, okay? You see that? Yep. All right, so there's our other two thin Cs. One thin C here. One thin C here. Everybody with me so far? I think so. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, be there on the dirt ball. Don't sing, Muffalo. Okay, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Let's turn our page this way so that our six is now up here and our three is now lying down on its back just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a thin J coming around just a little bit out to, oh, about the midway point and then curving around a little bit. This is gonna be Chase's smile. So thin J around and just like that. You don't need to curve back up again, just a thin J. So far so good? I think so. Yep. All right, let's turn our page straight up and down. Oh, okay, I'm beginning to see. Are you guys beginning to see uh, your little uh, Chase, Paw Patrol doggy showing up yet? Yeah. Okay, good. We're gonna do a big thin C coming around here like this and coming around just about to this point here. So it's a big C, very thin, curving around, coming right to here. Big shape, but remember, don't be nervous. Doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be fun. Coming around to right about there. And now inside here, we'll do a thin capital D. Da, 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 just like that. Nice and easy. <laughs> I think it's coming out. This might be working. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, let's turn our page this way. So the nose is pointing down now, and we're just gonna do a thin C, starting here, past that smile of the J, around, and then stopping here. So we don't wanna to go to the end, we just wanna make a thin C, starting a little higher than our J shape there, and stopping right we've left some space here for the muzzle of his nose. We're gonna do a big crazy J next. It's gonna start here at the halfway point of his ear. It's gonna come all the way up and curve around and touch right there, right where this area is, okay? So it starts here, goes up and around and touches right there. This is his police dog hat. It's a J, look, it goes around, J, 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 comes around and stops right there, big J. Big J. Big J. Yep. You put the page at an angle just to make that big J happen, okay? Oh.
Okay, turn the page back sideways again. So we're right back at our original position here. And we're gonna do two more C's. We're gonna do one C here like this and another C just like this. Two thin C's, same size, stacked one beneath the other. That's gonna be Chase's collar, okay? So once you've got those two thin C's, we're gonna do a little teeny one right here just to close off that shape with the other brim of his hat right there. At the very bottom of the page, centered and as big as the entire head, let's do a capital B. Go to the very bottom of your page right here. Dun, 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 and make the top part of the B the same size as the bottom part of the B. Any guesses? The pause. The pause. Absolutely right. Big B right at the bottom right here. Smaller and above it, a D. Back leg. That's right, back leg. Good call. All right. Let's turn our page straight up and down again. Ooh, it's coming along, looking pretty good. Okay, we gotta do a couple ones real quick here. Let's do a little one here inside the collar. Let's do another one here on the outside and another one here on the outside of the collar. We're gonna do a little U shape, just like this, for his dog collar tag. And then beneath that, we're gonna do a Y. Why? Because I said so. Coming straight down in between the B just like that. At an angle, we're gonna do a six. It's gonna come around and around and around like this. So it's around, back like this, close off the shape, that's gonna be the back leg. There's our six at an angle. While we're at an angle, while I have you here, let's do an L like this and a lowercase n on top. That's his backpack. Yeah, that's his cool backpack. It's full of contraptions. He barks a command and like, I think like a net gun pops out or like a, like a, a ample of megaphone, I think also comes out. That's one of those mechanical things that he uses on duty. And you can put a couple zeros in there as well, just for some of the buttons on the side to make it look a little technical. Okay? Almost done, just a few more shapes real quick, okay? We're gonna do a thin forward C and a thin backward C, like parentheses. Like parentheses. Yep, there's our thin forward C and there's our thin backward C, just like parentheses. So that makes both of his legs right there. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's coming along, couple more steps and we've got Chase from Paw Patrol. Very cool, I hope yours is turning out fun like mine. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be fun, we're just having fun drawing. No real rules or prizes here, just having a good time. Okay, let's do some 11s. Let's do uh, two 11s on this side, okay? And two 11s on this side, and two 11s back here. For his paws. Yeah, those are for his little paws. All right, almost done. We gotta do two zeros, or no, no, forget that. Let's do two C's inside these Q's right here. Nice and big, just like that. And then at the very top of the C's on the inside, let's do two zeros. That's what I want to do. Very, very cute. Here's some finishing touches here, just to finish off the job, okay? We're gonna turn the page sideways really quick and we're gonna do a small capital D up there. Color that in. That's one of his little eyebrows. Yep, just a small one right there. We're gonna put three periods or dots right here. One, two, three, right on his muzzle. And we're gonna color in the bottom part of his eyes here and his nose black. This is fun. Yeah, I think it worked. 
Thank you, Akshata, for uh, writing in and requesting this. I hope you and your sister are drawing along with us and having a good time. I think, I think we kind of did it. We'll put the little uh, symbol on the front of his hat when we color it in. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's ring the bell, folks, because that is Chase from Paw Patrol. Done with nothing but numbers and letters. Very cool. That turned out really, really nice. Okay. What do we do now, Muffalo? Let's um let's throw the shield on his on his hat. Okay, up there, that's right. He's got a little badge up there. So that's really easy. That's like doing three zeros. So we'll do one zero in the middle, one zero here, one zero here, and then one big zero beneath it, like that. Okay, that's the Paw Patrol symbol. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, sort of a curving V coming down like this on both sides. So it's like a curvy pointed V. Okay, then we're gonna do a little teeny L here and a little teeny backwards L here. And then if you turn your page sideways and just make a one going down to close off the shape, that's pretty much like the badge. That's the badge that you see um, right there on his, uh, top of his hat, so to speak. And then I think there's like a little star, so if you want, you can do like a little star shape right here. Like that. And I think he wears like a blue suit uniform, so that's gonna be blue. So if I do like a C here and a C shape here, then I can color this part blue and that part blue, and then the rest of this can be doggy colored, I guess. So let's do it. Let's, let's color in um, Chase from Paw Patrol. Doo -doo. That turned out pretty fun. Yeah, I think so too. That was really neat. Um, so again, if you guys have uh, requests or anything that you want to um, have me draw, or you just want to say hi, make sure you write to me, John at mufflopotato.com, and do ask for your parents' permission first, uh, if you need to, uh, and just send me, um, you know, requests or challenges or some artwork or some things that you've done. I try to answer uh, everything that uh, I get and I try to do my best to make this happen. Um, it's a little tricky drawing with numbers and letters. Uh, I mean, figuring it out is tricky. But once you figure it out, then it's actually pretty easy to draw with numbers and letters. Yeah. So I'm just using like a peach color just to get his ears around his eyes and his muzzle. And I think he's got like light tan. If you have light tan, you could use that too. And then he's got light tan paws. Here and here. Chase is on the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you don't watch Paw Patrol, uh, you've just basically drawn uh, a cute little police dog, which is also rewarding and fun. And now the rest of them here, I'll color in brown. So we're gonna have a good week. Uh, there's a lot of requests and a, a lot of neat stuff. We'll be drawing uh, every day this week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. As always, uh, I turn the camera on at uh, 12 noon Pacific. That's 3 p.m. East Coast time, 8 p.m. in the United Kingdom. And um, if you don't catch us live, it, it does go online in the video feed. And as you know, there's over 225 different episodes of Muffalo Potato. So if you're at, at the YouTube site, make sure you subscribe so you, you know where this site is. We appreciate that. Um, if you look under videos and just keep scrolling down, you will see there are step-by-step -step instructions for literally, actually, hundreds of things that you can draw with numbers and letters. And there's gonna be like Marvel superheroes and Star Wars characters, holiday characters, a lot of spooky Halloween monsters, um, cute Christmas things. Uh, what else is there? There's, um, there's how to draw me. There is how to draw you, that's absolutely right. And how to draw you. Yes, there's an episode on how to draw John too. I forgot about that. Well, that's my job, I'm here to remind you. Okay, uh, and um, 
What else? Disney characters. There's a lot of Disney characters. Pokemon. That's right, buddy. There's a lot of Pokemon. And we've been getting a lot of Pokemon requests, so I think there's going to be some more Pokemon that needs to be drawn very soon. What else? What else is going on? Nothing. Well, I hope you're having a good week. Um, weather's getting nice. We've been having fun. My daughter and I have been playing with Duplos and Legos nonstop. And, of course, she's figuring out how to draw the Muffalo Potato Way, which is super duper fun. We work on her numbers and letters together. And she figures out a couple, she's only, she's four years old. So as she gets older, she's gonna get better because that's the way it is. Uh, the more you draw and the more you practice, the better you get. So um, we have a good time. And she likes to play with me. Yes, yeah, she does, Muffalo. She thinks you are adorable. She's fun. Yeah, yeah, kids are fun. All right, let's get a little yellow for the badge here. Da -da -da. And some cool yellow and a little yellow for the star down there. And wipe off some of that extra wax. Wow, you know what? That's it. That's really cool. There's Chase from Paw Patrol. Thank you for uh, writing in and requesting. Um, I'm glad uh, we got a chance to do it. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. That was fun to do. And um, I will see you guys and girls tomorrow with another thing to draw on Muffalo Potato. Chase is on the case. Yes, that's right, buddy. Okay. We'll see you soon. All right. Is that your arm? That's my arm. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, everyone.